Do you like a challenge? Click on the challenge button and subscribe to my free 30 day real estate investing video challenge. Every day I'll get you a new video, how I built my business doing eight to 10 deals per week. It's two and a half hours of hardcore training. Hi, Peter of Excellent. So today I wanna to talk to you, to those of you that are spending time, effort, maybe some money on marketing. And I wanna to talk to you about the areas where you wanna focus in. You know, a lot of times people try to figure out areas by activity, by what's going on there, is it newer, is it older, you know, where is it proximity to downtown and all this. I think there's different ways to figuring out areas. But I will tell you, I've used a strategy in terms of figuring out specific geographic areas that I think as long as I've been doing this, I know has never led me wrong and for as many people as ever taught this strategy, all everybody agrees ultimately when you zero in on this, it's always gonna get you the kind of deals you're looking for. So really when it comes to geographical locations, wherever it is you live, there's really two types of geographical locations out there that are what are known as cookie cutter areas and that are what are known as what I call hodgepodge or areas where things are mixtures. Cookie cutter areas, we all know, you know, no matter where you live, there's pockets like that where you live. Cookie cutter areas where everything looks the exact same way. You know, it's like if you're driving through there, all you're doing is you're seeing like three bedroom, two bathroom, 1200 square feet, three bedroom, two bathroom, 1200 square feet. You know, they tend to be like subdivisions. They potentially could be sometimes newer areas. The cookie cutter areas is what I tell most investors to stay away from, from one very basic, simple reason. If you think about it, because things tend to look the same or at least close to looking the same, what happens in those areas, things also tend to be priced the same. Think about it, if you're in an area where almost everything, it's either three bedroom or maybe four bedroom and you know, a couple of bathrooms and maybe 1,200 to 1,300 square feet, you know, all look very, very similar. And let's say in that particular pocket, let's say in that particular area, people, when they put their properties up, let's say for 150,000, they kind of tend to get 150,000. Because remember, it all looks the same. So <clears throat> think about it, now you have a house in that same cookie cutter area, and now it's time for you to sell your house. Is there any chance in the world that you're gonna try to put your house up for sale for 50,000? No way. Hey, everyone's getting their 150, I want my 150, right? Even, even let's say if you're in trouble, like if you're in foreclosure or you got a job change or a health issue and you gotta move. Well, what you may do is you may go a little bit ahead of the market. So maybe it's putting it at 150, you put it at like a 140, 135, something like that, just to distinguish yourself from everyone else. But again, a, not a, a big enough margin to be noticed in the retail world, kind of a homeowner to homeowner world, by no means a big enough no, margin that we as investors are looking for. But now let's go to opposite. Let's go to what I call these hodgepodge pockets, or basically areas where there's different types of inventory. You know, you may see newer stuff, older stuff. You may see fixer uppers. You may see drop dead gorgeous properties. You may see houses. You may see apartments. You may see, um, you know, a, a, a a residential area that all of a sudden has a commercial building in it. Just a mixture, and we all know areas like that where we live also. Those pockets tend to be where the deals are, and here's why. In these pockets, we have what are known as natural pricing fluctuations. Meaning in these types of pockets, you're not gonna get 150,000 across the board. You may have one person selling it for 50,000, but two blocks down the road, somebody else could be listing their house for 150,000. Because remember, it's all kinds of stuff there. Now, does that mean the 50,000 is a good deal or 150 is a bad deal? No, that's not what it means. But here's what we do know based upon statistics. In these pockets where we have these types of pricing fluctuations, simply put, these pockets tend to create the number one environment where almost all the good deals are located. So, we stay away from cookie cutter, everything's the same, it tends to be priced the same. We go to hodgepodge because they create pricing fluctuations and pricing fluctuations in turn create environments where almost all the good deals are. So if you're right now trying to figure out where do you spend your time, effort, uh, uh, maybe money, your energy, into what areas, geographic areas where you live, you find those hodgepodge pockets and that's where I would you know, suggest you put all your effort into. Hey, you guys know what we do here. We do a ton of deals and, and I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I coach people just like you to help become very, very successful real estate investors. So if you're a buyer or you know other buyers literally all over the world that are looking for deals in the Georgia market, specifically concentrated towards Atlanta, you need to be on our buyers list. 
By now you'll see my email scrolling across the screen. Send me an email, just say add me to the buyers list. And on a daily basis, you're gonna get some terrific, both ROI and equity driven deals uh, emailed right directly to you. The other thing, if you're looking to become a successful investor, whether you're brand new, just getting started, or whether you're doing it already and you're looking to be a, a bigger, more sophisticated, more savvy investor, I know I could help you do that. Again, you could either send me an email to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, or better yet, right below this video, there's a link, coachingbypeter.com. You can go straight there and learn more about how I could help you become very successful in this industry.